Hello there. In a previous video I showed this game I made and I thought it would be fun to show how I made it. I really made it as an exercise for me to learn how to create PDF forms and it gets a little technical so this video will not be for everybody. I'm using a program called LibreOffice Draw. If you're not familiar with LibreOffice you might have heard of OpenOffice before. They're essentially the same thing and I'm not going to get into where the differences really come from but LibreOffice is more well-maintained and thus more modern and has more features, etc. Also, LibreOffice is a completely free program that is available on Windows, Mac, and every other operating system you've never heard of. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, the rest of this video is probably not for you. I'm not going to explain this game here, again, that was done in my previous video. I'm just going to show how to make PDF forms, which is something I just taught myself. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so here's a copy of the file I made. I'll point out first that I have some backup copies of those balls over here. That's just in case I mess something up while creating them. I, I do that a lot with a lot of things I make, just have a backup lying around. Anyway, the forms are not on this side. This is just some plain text. So let's go another file. Now here is already full of forms. I'm going to delete all of this to make some space. Okay, to create the forms, the first thing you want to do is go over to View. Then you go down to Toolbars and Form Controls. Okay, now this thing popped up. I'm going to move it over here to get it out of the way. And you want to click on the next button that says Design Mode. And you can see other things lit up. Okay, so I am just going to create a text box, but other options, buttons, checkboxes are a bit similar. Which one is this? Anyway, text box. Let's drag in, create a text box. Now, since we are in design mode, this will not work over here. If I right click, nothing happens. And if I click here, it's kind of weird and I can't even grab it. But in design mode, I can drag it around. I can resize it. And most importantly, I can right click and go here to control. There are a lot of other settings I can change. You can change the name. You can add some default text to show up. Test. And most importantly, we can change the font, font color. And we can change the color of the box. I already have a lot of forms here. After I made one, I just copied and pasted. So example, copy, paste, and move them around. And they're all white, so they're hard to see. So if I move it up here. There it is. And I recently found out during some more recent edits that you can highlight a lot of boxes and change them in bulk. That was really useful. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. It's fairly simple. Okay, so I forgot to actually mention the most important part, and that is exporting the file as a PDF, which can use forms. So it's very simple. You go over to Files, and Export as PDF, because you want to see all of the options. This will not work in archive format. So what you want to do is turn that off if it's on, and make sure you have clicked Create PDF Form. All the instructions I found online say to use FDF. Although in my testing everything seemed to work, but I will stick to FDF for now just in case. And then you click export and save your file. That's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.